Hello and welcome to this video presented by Whitley Bay Photograph Society. In this video we'll be exploring very basic composition techniques which may help improve your photography. These techniques can be used no matter what you shoot with, be it a camera or a phone, and it does not require any specialist editing software. One of the best ways of improving your composition is by being aware of what you're photographing and, just as importantly, your background. In this image, the photographer has concentrated on the sculpture but hasn't realised that the horizon behind is not level. This distracts from the picture and once noticed cannot be unseen. Although it can be possible to correct this afterwards, it is much easier to do so at the time of shooting. Possibly one of the most useful and easiest forms of editing is to crop images. Mobile phones, tablets and computers have very basic photo editing built into them. Using this, it is possible to remove unwanted areas in a photograph. In this street scene of another photographer, we see part of a pedestrian to the left, as well as people in the shop behind. These do nothing to add to the image. By cropping them, they can easily be re removed and we can concentrate on the main subject. How close we crop them it depends on what we want to show or leave out of the image. So as we've seen with cropping, we can get rid of things that we don't want. But we can also make pictures a bit more interesting as well by cropping things and putting things in slightly different order. But it's where do you crop and how do you do it? So this picture of the Kingfisher, uh, we've got it, and it's in the middle of the, the image here, and it's nothing too exciting. So if we crop it, and we'll get rid of some of the background, and we'll place it in this position here. It doesn't quite look right, does it? But that, the reason for that is because the front of the bird, that's closer to the edge of the frame than the back of the bird, so it doesn't look natural, doesn't look right. What we could do is move it into the centre of the image. But again, it's just a bit boring, isn't it? It's nothing really to write home about. Yeah, it's acceptable, it works, but really we could maybe look at something else. One technique which is often used is called the rule of thirds. This is where an imaginary grid, um, where you've got two horizontal lines and two vertical lines. And the idea is you place key features where the lines intersect. In this case, with a bird, you know, it's the eyes are the important parts. You would use the eye on this kingfisher in that intersection there. So if we place the grid over and look at the, where the bird is and move it to that location, this is the image we get. Incidentally, the rule of thirds, when you um, edit photographs, when you crop, that grid often comes up on your phone and that's what it's there for, it's to help to do this, just to position things and it's just a little bit more interesting. So it's always a, another technique that you could possibly consider using at some point. Of course, the rule of thirds can be applied to all kinds of photography, including landscapes. This next um, image was cropped in such a way that the horizon was in the centre of the frame, which is okay. However, we've got a very dramatic sky above, and that shares equal amount of, uh, of the frame with the grass in front. Really, it's the sky is the, the dramatic part. We've also got the lighthouse as well, so maybe we can reposition things a little bit. So we'll put the grid on as we did before with the Kingfisher, and crop it slightly differently. And this is the result. A far more dramatic sky and probably a more powerful image than the first one. Another very useful technique in composition uh, within photography is the use of leading lines. Um, the idea of this is we encourage the viewer to look at a certain point in a picture. So in this first picture we can see we've got the pier which is a very strong straight leading line which leads off into the distance and to the approaching storm clouds. You can't help but be drawn to the horizon on this picture, your, your eye gets drawn along the uh, the pier. So that's a quite strong leading line. This next one we we'll see again the railway line is used as the leading lines as well. They're not straight but they're curved and it, it draws your eye to the trains and, and what goes on beyond. So they're quite strong leading lines, but you can also get things a little bit more subtle. In this next one, we can see the leading line, which is used as the road, and that leads off into the distance and round the corner, again making the viewer 
think what's going on around that corner and just adds a little bit more to the picture. The leading light is always worth a little look at how you can get them into your pictures because it can strengthen an image. So thank you for watching this video. I hope that uh, you maybe have got one or two ideas which you can maybe play about with in the future uh, with your photography. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. We are an actual photographic club and uh, if you wish to have any further information on us, uh, we'll be found at www.wbphoto.org or alternatively we're on Facebook and Instagram. Okay, see you next time. Bye.